Hello guys, welcome to you. In this video, we are going to see how to mirror two or multiple Android mobiles to PC or laptop. It is a very easy and simple process. So let's go to our video. First, go to the Google Chrome. Open Google Chrome on your PC or laptop. In a search, in a Google Chrome search, type Scrappy and hit enter key on your keyboard. First link is from the GitHub. Open the first link. And it's open latest version of the Scrappy. Whatever latest version is available, it's automatically show on your PC or laptop. Here we find latest version and release date. If you want, want to click at here, click at here. It is a latest. Scroll down. After that, scroll down. Here we find version number. Scroll down and find Windows. Find Windows. If you're using Windows, then go to the Windows. Mac, then Mac. If Linux, then Linux. I'm using Windows. So I click on the Windows operating system. It's redirect me to the another page and here we find Scrappy for 64 bit. If your machine is 64 bit, then go to the 64 bit. If 32 bit, then 32 bit, 32 bit. In those days, most of the machines, PC or laptop are 64 bit. So I click on the 64 bit, click at here, 64 bit link. And I download it on the my desktop. You can download on anywhere. I download on the desktop. I go to go to the desktop. Here we find the upper zip file, unzip it, right click on it. Here we find extract all or click on the show more all. I click on the show more options, click on extract files, click on OK. Here we find extracted folder, double click on it, double click on it. And here we find these files. You can save this folder, this folder scrappy to anywhere and give any name that you want. I go with the same name. Our next step is give this path. This is the path, this address bar or the this is the our path and we want to add this address to the our path. That is the our next option or the next step. Click at here, go to the here or I go to the here, go to your folder, open it and go to this path, select this path, control A and control C or right click on it. Control or copy it, control C, minimize it. Next step is go to the start. Here type path or type edit the system environment path, environment variables. It is also called a path. Click at here, edit the system environment. Here we find environment variables. Click at here. Here we find many options. First is the variable for the, your local account. I don't want with the local account only. I want to give the permission to all PCs or the all users. So I go to the system variables. Here we find path, click on the path. In a path, here we find edit, click on the edit, select path and click on edit. Here click on the new, click on the new and paste the our path at this point. Click on the OK, click on the OK and click on the Okay, now next step is go to the our mobile and give the developer options and give the all necessary permissions. Now I am in the my mobile. First, I go with the USB deb debugging and developer options. So I click at here settings. All mobile interface are different. In this case, I go to the about phone, go to the about phone or Go to the about phone. In about phone, here we find many options. Go to the OS version or Android version. In many cases, OS version or built-in number or OS number. Find which is the for your PC or lap, for your Android mobile. In this case, this is the OS version. In many cases, built-in number. I double click on it or seven type click on that and it show a developer. I have already de developer, so it's not showing. After that, go to the back and find additional settings or the advanced settings. In this case, I scroll down and find additional settings. Here we find additional settings, click on the additional settings. In additional settings, scroll down, I scroll down and find developer options, click on the developer options. In a developer options, I scroll down and find USB debugging. Here we find USB debugging on it, on the USB debugging, if it's off on it, Install by USB on it and install debugging security second settings if you want to on it on it and these all things these all things verify apps or USB or debugging apps on it and after that go to the back back and our developer options are on now 
After that, attach attach your USB cable, attach your PC or laptop's USB cables to your um, mobile, Android mobile, and it's ask allow USB debugging on your PC or laptop. Allow always allow from this computer. Select that on both PC, both Android mobile or multiple Android mobiles. Select allow always allow from this computer, and after that. We are going to the our next step. After that, go to the start. Type cmd. Right click on the command prompt and click on run as a administrator. Click on the yes. Center it. Here type adp devices. Hit enter key and it show your all devices with the serial number. This is the our serial number. This is the our serial number. First, I go to the this. And copy the my first device serial number. Control C, and after that I go to the here and type Scrappy space hyphen yes space and serial number paste the our serial number. I paste the my serial number and hit enter key. And here is the my device. It is recording now. I go to the my next mobile. For that purpose, I also go to the start and type at this point CMD. Right click on the command prompt. Click on run as an administrator. Run as an administrator is very IMP. Click on the yes. Once again, I type Scrappy space hyphen yes yes. Then space scrappy space hyphen yes space and our this serial number. Second mobile serial number and hit enter key. And here is the our second mobile and this is the our recording mobile. This mobile is recording my. This is the my record video recording uh, mobile mobile. Here we find the my mobile. So guys, this is the simplest way to mirror multiple mobiles on our Windows PC or laptop, Windows, Linux, Mac, PC, Mac PC or laptop. So guys, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, comment on this video and don't forget to subscribe the channel. Thank you guys.